Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're back here in Belfast together again. Hello, Eubank. Uh, I'm doing good. How are you? Very well, thanks, Andy. Very well. Glad to be here. Excited for uh, mix. You know, time to shine. Um, here at Falls Park on Friday, it's going to be a crazy atmosphere, and um, I'm excited to uh, to see him show what he's been doing in the gym. We were here two years ago, and you mentioned the atmosphere there, like sitting in that that ringside and watching Mick walk in and the the, the Irish crowd going nuts. Man, it was it was something electric, wasn't it? Yeah, I've never seen anything like it before. The um, the way the Irish fans come out to support him is special. You've been in the gym with Mick. Uh, I've seen all the Instagram stuff, all the photos. You train alongside him, you spar him. Um, how ready is Mick against TJ? I mean, TJ is a tough opponent. A lot of people saying it's 50-50 fight. Mick actually said himself that he thinks TJ is the, the, the favourite in this fight. But for you, you've uh, been in the gym with him. You spar him like you say. You, you, you do all the drills with him and, and whatnot. So how ready is that man? He's more than ready. Um, like he said, TJ's a live opponent. He's a dangerous opponent and um, he's not taken him lightly as he shouldn't because it's, you know, this is a big fight and um, he presents dangers. But Mick is, you know, more than ready for this fight. Um, he's been building towards world level for a long time now. And in the gym, he's getting sharper and sharper. And, you know, we can see he's at that level now and it's... It's that time now where he goes out and and um, you know he shows the the world what we've already seen. When can he be a world champion? And you you you, I could, like I said to make them in that interview as well that it seems like it's been the best part of two years that we've been talking about him fighting for a world title. I mean the stuff he's done in the amateurs, you would think it's, he's he's more than ready. We we all know he's more than ready and stuff like that. But for you, when can we see him win that world title? Do you think this is the the right fight for him to go on and get that world title next? Hundred percent. I think uh, I think it will happen for him within the next six months. Um, sometimes in boxing, things you know things are delayed. There's things that you know prevent something happening at a certain time. Um, so everything happens at the right time, and I think within the next six months, uh, Mick Conlon will be world champion. Talking about being at that that world level, uh, I spoke to you a little bit alongside Tyler McKenna, who's at your weight. He's probably about six inches taller than you. Uh, big big boy, but. We were talking about uh, your division right now, which is, is is hot domestically and obviously at world level. For you, I mean, you 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 probably put your best career, best performance in your last fight uh, going in there. You 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 box beautifully to a game plan. I think you got the stoppage as well, didn't you? In the last um, one, almost, almost. Uh, it went to to points, but right, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I controlled the fight till the end. Well, f like I say, when you think about this division, how it, how itchy are you? How itchy knuckles to get back in there and. Uh, Get that Harlem Eubank name up there into that that level. We can start talking about you against this guy, you against that guy, man. How how itchy are you? I'm excited. I'm <laughs> excited. Um, you know, I've been since since the last fight. Honestly, I was in the gym um, within three or four days, um, and I you know I felt like it's it's time to get rolling now. It's time to get these fights, and um, I feel like I'm gonna entertain uh, the British boxing public with some great fights you know um so i'm ready to get active and i'm ready to to show the british public what i can do when you when you <laughs> was talking to tyron mckenna when when you were sizing them up you're like how the heck do you make 140 man uh, but when you look at these guys in this, in this division as well like tyron who's fighting a, a tough mexican in this in this on friday night <sighs> when you look at this the, the level domestic i mean you, like you said you're talking about being excited but are you wanting one of these big names next the the tyron mckenna's the you know what i mean there's 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 Vast amount of names out there, like uh, even at elite level with Josh Taylor. I'm not gonna mention Josh Taylor, but Regis Progre up there at world level. Do you know what I mean? Tank Davis is there now. He's uh, a WBA regular champion or interim champion or whatever is going on there. But I mean, when can we see your name amongst them names? It's very exciting division. You know, I'm watching these fights and I'm thinking, oh, I can't wait. You know, mm -hmm. I can't wait. So um, yeah, you got to build organically, and that's what I've done in this in this game. You know, I didn't. I wasn't given no handouts. And I've built myself organically. I've built my skills organically. Um, and I've been churning in the gym, you know, since the day I started. So I'm ready. I'm ready to, you know, get under the bright lights. And like I said, give um, strong, exciting uh, performances to the British public. And I feel like I'm going to bring something fresh to that division. Um, so I can't wait to, to you know, put on um, exciting displays in front of them. And... Um, 
I feel like I'll, I'll be up there with these big names. Um, I just need to get my activity up, and I'll, I'll soon be up there. Can we see you fight by the end of the year? 100%. 100%. I've got to. Well, I imagine Josh Taylor's going to be here on, on Friday night. Uh, any chances of you starting a wee ruckus with him to get that shot? <laughs> I'm a big fan of Josh, you know. <laughs> I'd like to get some rounds in with him, you know. I, I think uh, what he's done in the sport is crazy. He's not giving the credit that he deserves for what he's done. And um, I'd love I'd love to learn, learn from Josh and, and take insights from him because, you know, to reach them heights, you know, is something that I aspire to do in my career. Well, did you watch the, 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 the fight with Jose Ramirez back in May and what were your thoughts on it? Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought the biggest challenge for Josh was Regis Progre. Um, and, um, you know, after he dealt with him, I was pretty confident, you know, that his skill set would uh, be too advanced for Ramirez. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the fight and Ramirez obviously brought a, brought a performance that, you know, challenged Josh in other aspects of his strength and, and awkwardness. But... Um, yeah, it was it was an exciting fight, and you know, happy that that Josh came out on top. You, you mentioned he doesn't get the credit he deserves and, and stuff like that, but it's almost like you you've came under the radar a little bit where you with the style of your fighting and stuff like you're an exciting fighter and stuff like. Do you feel like you're slipping under the, the radar on this division a little bit? Definitely, but I I, I feel like every fight, um, I think the you know the public are seeing that um, every fight I'm showing them something different. Mm-hmm. And they're going to keep seeing it every fight because I'm getting better and better. And, um, yeah, like I say, I've, I've, I've earned, you know, everything, you know, with the position or anything I have in the sport has been, you know, earned from, from day one. Um, and it's been a hard process, but I feel like slowly pushing, you know, into the limelight now. And I'm ready to deliver the fans, you know, some exciting performances. And like I say, I feel like I've got something that, is slightly different, you know, in the division that um, brings something fresh, mm-hmm. you know. So it's going to be, I feel like in the next few fights, you know, the British the British boxing public can be excited. Talking about that then, I, I spoke to a countryman of mine, Craig McIntyre, who's in your division, he's an undefeated fighter like you. Um, good like, good fight for him last time out, done what he needed to do, got the win as well. So is as, as Craig somebody that you need to as well I know that it was spoken about in the circular or something like that as well is that a fight that could be made in the in the coming months yeah that's definitely a fight that can be made um, you know we that fight was suggested and, and we'd love that fight as well so um, yeah hopefully you know that can be made in the future and um, let's get let's get cracking now you know I've got I've got a whole you know bunch a whole skill set that I want to I want to, you know, show in front of in front of the uh, the public now, and obviously I'm doing it in the gym, but I want to do it under the lights now. And um, I feel like the 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 public have been into anticipating um, to see me fight since the last one, and I'm ready to get going now. I mean, I know you you studied the art like it's a martial arts because you do that martial arts pose. Like I, I think I forgot it. It's that in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, 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 do it for me. Should we? I don't know the last time. It was like that, isn't it? Yeah, like that. Yeah. So I've got, I've got, I've nailed it down to a T. Um, but you, you treat the sport like it's a martial arts. You give it your, your all. I don't think. Remember the last time we spoke, you said that that this is my life. I'm going to give this sport 100 percent and and stuff like that. And it shows in in your training because, I mean, when I look at the shape of Mick when he's on the scales, when you're on the scales and stuff like that, and all the boys in in the booth gym and stuff like that, you, 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 and even Aaron, you got a six pack yet, Aaron? He's coming on. Four, it's coming on, is it? It's coming on. Four pack, that'll do. Um, aye, one final word on this man here, Mick Conlon then. Uh, what are you hoping to see from him on Friday? A, uh, a skilled, relaxed, composed performance. And he's ready, to, he's ready to bring whatever he needs to bring out of his toolbox, you know, come Friday night. And he's got a, you know, he's got a deep toolbox. Uh, very, very knowledgeable Um and that's going to show. That's going to show. You know, he can box. He can fight. Um, and he's ready. For, he's ready for whatever TJ presents on Friday night. Definitely. Um, I do want to send my condolences, and my love to the Eubank family over seven stuff like that. So I, I will send that. But um, as always, you've you've always given me your time. You've me. You've never said no to me. So I do appreciate your time and uh, the chat for IFL TV. So no doubt I'll probably grab you after the fight night and get your reaction to Mick and TJ Dehenny. But until then. Enjoy fight week and I'll catch up with you soon. Spot on. Nice one, Andy. Thank you, Harlem. Thank you. So, Harlem, you got the fight picks up open? Yeah. Yep. Let me see the count. Let me see the phone. There we go. 
Right. Let me point down at the phone. M- Mick Conlon versus TG Duhenny. How do you see the fight? Now you go into that bit, go back. Okay. And then choose your picks. Okay. And then there you go. Cool. How Boom. do you see it happening? I think Mick points or late stoppage. I don't want to, wait, we Kick need to sort up. this fucking app out first, mate. <laughs> there, 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 there. Okay. So it's just down at the bottom. Continue. So you can't you can pick a late stop. It's KO, decision, or draw. KO, decision, draw. Boom. Let's go KO. Ooh. And just say no, because it's not going to go the distance. What round? We'll go late. There you go. And then you've got other fights to pick there. So you've got the Lee McGregor fight as well. Hold up. Let me see. There you go. What you picked? <sighs> what you pick for Lee McGregor? What did you uh, pick for Lee McGregor? I haven't seen much of the other dude, to be honest. Um, but Do you want me to tell you about the other dude? Yeah, tell me about the he's other had, dude. He's had three times as many fights as Lee. So Lee's only 10 and 0. He's 32-0. He's a southpaw. Two times flyweight European champion. He's got more knockouts than Lee's got wins. Yeah. So, tough French opponent. He's all. He's, he's he's undefeated. Undefeated. Yeah, he's undefeated. Same as Lee. Okay, cool. All right. In that case, I'm gonna go a points victory for Lee. Yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Boom. So Group outcome points by points. Yeah. Bang. Tyron McKenna in your division how does he see how do you see that one going I think he, I think he'll do well um, I haven't seen much of the other dude but he looks like a tough tough little dude um, Jose Felix so I'll go McKenna points decision by boom yes five points for boom What's the other fight there? That is Polly McCrory and Sergey Godzikov. Tough one. I haven't seen much of either of them, to be honest. Um, so I, I couldn't really give an educated um, decision. Listen, there's money on the line. It's free money if you get this right. So just just hazard a guess. I'll go with the home draw um, and go McCrory and... Let's go decision... Uh, yeah, let's go decision. And uh, yes, boom. So by points, yep. And the uh, last one's uh, Sean McComb against, yep. Uh, what's it? Rodriguez. On you go. Rodriguez. I, I feel like he. I feel like he'll get the win and stoppage or. Yeah, I feel like I'll come back with a point to prove on this one, so let's go for the stoppage. What round? What round? Let me go seven to nine. There you go. Just put it at the bottom there, entry for zero pound, and hold it up. It'll say, conf- there we go, hold that up to me. Boom. Like that. Locked in. There we go. Let's have it. Let me turn that light off. It's- there we go, locked in. Free money. Free money, baby. <laughs> hey, Adam, thank you so much for this, man. I appreciate it, and uh, good luck. If you win, if you get higher more points than me this week, right, I'll give you a tenner. I'll get you some old donuts, mate, if I win. Where's, where's H with them donuts? <laughs> where's H? Remember that last time, Mick? With the donuts. Harlem, thanks so much, mate. Thanks. Good luck.